Don't you just hate it when you're minding your own business and suddenly the game's like, you know what? Fuck you. Well, I'll tell you to tighten your ass and sit down, cause you're gonna watch a lot of clips that don't make any sense. Why? Cause it's good old gaming. Our first game is CTR, one of my favorites. But I have one huge problem with this game, and most of the people who played it already know what it is. The missiles. What the fuck is wrong with these missiles? Sometimes they work, but most of the time they just do whatever they want. And sometimes they like to fuck the player for no apparent reason. Like here. Now, let's try to analyze this clip. Here are Tiny, Kong, and Hasty. Tiny, on third place, fired a missile at Kong at second place. The missile followed, it lost him, it turned around, and hit me, the guy on fourth place. How the fuck can a missile launched by third place hit the guy on fourth place? After watching this clip so many times and analyzing it, I came to two conclusions. One. Either Komodo Joe was the unluckiest character in this game, or two, I'm the unluckiest player on this game. And believe it or not, I actually came to an answer. Now you may say it was an accident, the missile turned around and hit me for some reason, but no 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 my friend, it's not an accident, cause this clip proves it. Now I want you to focus on this side, focus on me and try to understand what happened. <laughs> now, did you understand what happened? No? Let's analyze it. The missile was launched by the guy on 5th place, aimed at the guy on 2nd place, that already doesn't make any goddamn sense. It passed me by, and so I thought I was safe. And so I thought. It missed the target, turned around in my screen, and around on the second player screen, passed the second player, and hit me! Why? Cause I am the unluckiest player in this game. There's the proof, and there's the answer. The missiles like to fuck with me, and they also like to mess with me. Explain this to me. Now I don't have a problem with the missile missing its target. Most of the time they miss the target anyway. But I have a problem with a missile that's about to hit the target and decides not to. Why? Why? You are right there. Right there. Why? You know why? Because they like to mess with me. And no, 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 my friend. We're not done with CTR. We're about to reach the climax, baby. Take a look at this clip. Now, anyone who played this game or familiar with it knows that there are only 8 racers, right? And the guy in 8th place is the last, right? Then how the fuck did I get hit by a missile when I was in last place? Now, this could have made some sense if I was close with the boys, right? Like here or here. But look how far I was. Look at the distance between me and the other players. Someone decided to launch a missile from this side and it turned back and hit me! Why? Why? Cause I am the unluckiest player in this game! Play with me and you win! Cause the missiles are gonna fuck me! Why? Cause it's good old gaming, right? I love CTR, but fuck the missiles! Moving on to the next game. Mortal Shell. You wanna know what's worse than dying? Dying to an enemy who's a complete dumbass. How the fuck? 
can you die to a bear trap? How low can you fall? Now, I may have died, but god damn it, I got the last laugh. Cause this guy is gonna be known as the monster who died to a fucking bear trap. Doom Eternal. Have you ever killed demons and suddenly the earth started shaking? Okay, now hold on, this doesn't feel right. Let me change the music. There it is, there it is, that's exactly how it feels every time I hear this song. Alright, to anybody who's playing Doom Eternal, I have an advice for you. Don't try to chainsaw an invisible pinky, you will fuck up your game. Trust me, fighting a marauder while everything was shaking was not good. He shook me out of the fun zone. Our final clip is from an old iconic game, a golden game, Need for Speed Underground and its iconic ways to start a race. those old days where the cars feel like rag dolls bounce around however they want and the police chases were crazy man those were some good days bro well, that's all the clips that I have, and if you want to see more of these videos, then I would really love and appreciate if you join the Discord server, links in the description. There you can drop your very own clips that will be chosen and featured in the next videos. Alright, that's all from me, check out this series if you want to see something new and funny of course, and I'll see you on the next video of good old gaming, where you watch clips that don't make any sense.